Hello everyone, this is Dino Dyan here again with a uh, update on my Stan Myers water fuel cell replication. It's December 2014. I just uh, got back into this here, so I am just grabbed all my equipment, threw everything back together, grabbed my VIC coil, and took and hooked it up <clears throat> based on my findings from Stan's original stuff. So this drawing here is the coil arrangements that were actually in Stan's coil pack and this is just a little simplified version of the same thing here that everybody's pretty much seen this so all my connections on my coil are exactly like this connection here <clears throat> you got my primary, secondary, blocking diode, uh, negative choke, positive choke and then it's hooked up to two oscilloscope probes for one on the positive choke, one on the negative choke and I'm using the isolated ground as my scope ground <clears throat> and I just have my single tube water fuel cell here it's hooked up directly okay and then I have my frequency generator it's already pre-tuned to resonance so that's 28,000 Hertz uh, the there's no draw on the amp meter the amp meter always reads that's 0 0.02 amps so that's 20 milliamps but so that doesn't get included into my calculations I'm setting at 14.2 volts so on my oscilloscope I have the scope set at 5 volts per division, both channels 1 and 2. And the scope probes are both times 100. So you can just see the blips. Okay, I'll turn the frequency generator on. It's already tuned into resonance. And what do you see here? Remember, each division is equal to 500 volts. So the top, top trace is the positive choke, bottom trace, negative choke. And I have the scope set up. So the traces are exactly 1,000 volts on the negative choke. If we look carefully at the positive choke, we're about 100 volts shy. So we're about 900 to 1,000. <clears> Again, this is at 14.2 volts, and the amp draw went up by 0.4, or 0.4. So that's 40 milliamps of power going to the primary coil. So if we do the math, 14.2 volts times 0.04 amps, that's only 0.568 amps. Now we have 1,000 volts. We divide this by 1,000, gives us an amp draw of 0 0.000568. So that's a little over half of a milliamp of power current going to the cell. And if we look carefully, you can see that it's trickling out a little bit of gas. Now they say that it takes, what, one and a half, between one and a half, two volts to make gas. <coughs> so we've got a thousand volts on the water at milliamps of power, actually making a little bit of gas. Okay, now, what we're looking at here, if I take the channels and I combine the two together, look what we got now. There's almost 2,000 volts. Remember, one channel is reading positive, the other channel is reading negative. And right now, I've got them set in the add mode. So, if the if the voltages were identical, it shouldn't add together. They're both referenced again to the same ground. So, if we put it on alternate, we get back to our positive negative choke but when combined we have 2,000 volts so to me that's a possible indication that we have a positive thousand on the positive side and negative a thousand on the negative side so <clears throat> and then you can see if I adjust the frequency and go in and out of resonance very simply it's very easy to find the interesting thing is, is the amp draw if I take it out of resonance, I'm going to let the amp draw drops. Bring it back into resonance, back to the same amp consumption. Now, watch as we turn up the voltage. I can only go a little over 20 volts before, right there. You can hear that as the choke coil shorting out. But anyway, Let's bring this down where we can see it. There's 5100, 50, uh, 15, a little over 1500 volts at 20 volts input and 90,000, 
90,000 side them together again. And now you can see we're at, uh, move her up, 5152, 2500 volts peak to peak. <clears throat> so, so that's where I'm going to start my experimenting. Uh, currently, right now, my gating generator, signal generator, is is uh, broken, and uh, I just ordered the PGN 2.0 from Gunther, and I'll be using that to drive my system with uh, because I need to have an adjustable gate duty cycle. <clears throat> so with that, I should be able to to tune into this thing a little better. But it is it is an interesting fact here that by in increasing the power into the primary it increases the output of the coils with no effect on resonance now mind you that again that this is this is just the resonance that's taking place between the positive choke and the cell <clears throat> that's LC resonance so okay well hope you enjoyed my video there'll be more to come so uh, this is Dino Don out